Hey everyone, today we're going to be diving into the enchanting world of Palia, where humans are the stuff of legends, and we've got an entire realm to explore, friendships to forge, and mysteries to uncover. Will we thrive in this cozy, magical landscape? I don't know. Let's dive in to this first look and find out. All right, here we are. We're in one of the very opening scenes. Uh, the, the previous scene to this one was just basically asking me for my email and things, which I wasn't going to share on stream. So I went ahead and just started here. I like how they start with, you know, be a responsible neighbor. We will take care of ourselves and our emotions responsibly as we play. We, uh, we will use the tools provided to us in game to keep everyone, including ourselves safe, you know, be a kind neighbor and be a helpful neighbor. So like every player is new at some point, uh, in their palio journey and that's okay. We will come together to help new players and welcome them to Palia and the community. It's very sweet. Uh, so I don't really know a whole lot about this game. Uh, this is again, one of, one of my first looks. Uh, so we're just going to dive in and really just show some raw gameplay of how it all sets up and, and how we feel about it and what we can do. So let's, uh, let's just agree and move forward. Now, where should I start? Choose a body type. Okay. Look at that hair. That looks amazing. Okay, so. We can just keep changing it. I kind of like that previous one. I mean, that's okay. I guess we just keep doing it like this. Yeah. Can we, I, I'm wondering if we can change this at all. It just says choose a body type. So, I mean, I guess let's go with this one and then we can hopefully adjust it from here. Oh, okay. See, there we go. We can adjust it a little bit. So we can kind of adjust, um, trying to figure out which one is best for like my face, I guess more like this. Yeah, I guess more like that one because I kind of got a chubby face, you know, so uh, skin tone. I'm a little bit. Well, right now I'm a little bit paler, but, you know, typically I'm a fairly decently, you know, tan person. So let's go with that. Uh, I have green eyes. If you all can't tell. Uh, and then voice. Hey. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, oh. Oh, no. ah. Hey. 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 I guess we'll just go with this. We can change our hair. Okay, so we can change our hair. Uh, I will leave it brown. There you go, a little bit more darker. All right, so I do have longer hair. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I should stick with the man bun. Cause I mean, I do have long hair. No, we definitely don't want that. Uh, I suppose we'll stick with like the man bun. That might be the best thing. I, I don't really know. Uh, a face mask. No, we don't need that tops. Okay. Um, actually, I don't really mind this top. This top is kind of cool. Uh, okay. Let's go with pants. So what, okay. So we're, we have these shorts on now, right? But okay. So, so people can really customize to whatever they want. It actually kind of, kind of matches in a, in a strange sense, but I mean, shorts could be cool. Uh, but I think they need to be darker. There we go. That's kind of more. Yeah. or we go with like what we had i think i think the darker like shorts but i guess they're more like capris right so we'll go with that uh skin what is this is this like face eye stuff 
Well, if we're supposed to be like pixies and stuff, maybe it might not be bad to have like little cat eyes or something. No, we can't do that. That's way too big. No, that's just weird. What is this? It doesn't even tell me what this is. What does that do? It just puts a little bit of eye, kind of like a pirate. See, that just makes me look sad. That's kind of good, but it, it touches my eyebrows. I don't think cat eyes are supposed to touch your eyebrows, you know? I really don't. So we might just have to do nothing. All right, so let's finish the look. Let's just start there. We don't have to dive deep in. If you guys want to take an hour and a half, actually on stream last night, someone was talking about they watched someone play, uh, I think it was Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy, and it took two and a half hours for them to customize their character, which how? But if you want to do that, it's all up to you. So let's just finish this. So you will not be able to change. You will not be able to change your body type, face, skin tone, eye color, or voice after the character is created. This function uh, will be added in the future update. All right, so hold on a sec. Are we good with this? Do we need, do we need some, uh, some stuff here? I don't think we do. So let's just, we're going to confirm it. There we are. Um, so characters, full name, uh, Foxy, McSock, see, yep. And then uh, the nickname is, uh, just Foxy. How about that? I'm good with it. Are y'all good with it? Time for you to go out into the world. Okay. I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. You must have heard a lot about me. I don't want to brag, but kind of a big deal. <laughs> I kid, of course. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this cutscene. dragon okay so this isn't i guess so i was i was kind of thinking it might be more like the sims because like the voices you know how in the voices when we were testing those out they're like <laughs> you know i thought it would be like that but she actually says oh my so but she's not really talking but but she did a minute ago so did did you just materialize from nowhere um Honestly, I have no idea. More like a spiraling pink void. Not sure, but I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Um, honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Right. You probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. That That's correct. I don't. Uh, it's just none of our other humans knew either, which leaves me right back at square one. Okay, other humans? Uh, yep. You're not the first human I've seen in Palia. Okay. Just the first I've seen, you know, appear in a giant cocoon of light. So I'm special. That's what you're, that's what I'm hearing is that I'm special. Aww. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk with Ashra and yeah, the innkeeper. Uh, he's been helping others like you get settled in. Okay. Uh, I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here. Uh, and I am this close to figuring it out that close. Cause it looks like that close. <laughs> <laughs> so I was caught off guard. Uh, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. And the name is Gina. 
I'm the apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. Okay. And this is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I got to get back to the grind. Okay. Uh, so I have to go into town. Uh, standard um, WSAD. Okay. So next, look around using. Oh, really? We look around using a mouse? That's crazy. All right. So I'm going to keep the tutorial on so it can keep popping up when I don't know what in the world I'm doing. Um, whoa. Hello? Okay, I got a little laggy for a second. So I guess we just, okay. So you have to jump. Okay, understood. I like the, like it's cute and, and they have decent. Okay, well he's kind of stuck. Uh, we can climb these. Looks like I'm exerting uh, energy by doing this so all right so we'll definitely cut the graphics down a little bit to help this because we don't need this happening right yeah, so let's go ahead and check settings a little bit. Uh, graphics, graphics quality. Let's cut it down to high in hopes that this will help a little bit. Now I've got a fairly decent computer. It's not, uh, we can't jump through that. Okay, so we're just gonna run down on Ashura and Kilma. All right, so I'm assuming I'm in Kilma now. All right, it's still a little laggy. All right. So I'm guessing that's not them. Let's let's cut it down just a little bit more. It's still cute. It's still adorable. I'm guessing we just go into town here and we'll find them. There's no map to necessarily know what we're doing. Hey, Tish. Have you met my brother yet? I no, I just got here. Hi, uh, welcome to the valley. I'm Tish. I run the furniture store. New town passing through. Um, blah, 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 blah. I just materialized from a void. Well, that sounds tough. It sure does. When my brother and I first moved in, we took a little time to adjust. Uh, and we're here just coming from uh, one town over. Uh, not another plane of existence. Okay, you need help with any locals. Don't hesitate to ask. Okay, I have a... I've, I've got a question to ask, but... You just said toodles, so... Apparently I can't ask you. Um... Hmm. Ashra. Aha. Look who we found. Oh, there, friend. Look to welcome uh, to Kilimia. I'm sure uh, this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Asher, the innkeeper at uh, the blah, blah, blah horn. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now, but we do have some old plots uh, northeast where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? Yeah, um, I'm not really the camping type, which, you know, okay. I'm, I love camping, so nothing like sleeping under the stars. Uh, all right, so let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner about the pick. Uh, lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spots on your map. Okay, if you get lost, come back here and I'll get you sorted. Sounds good. Make the most of each day. You make the most of each day. You are so kind. You're such a nice person. Thank you for being kind. I I'm assuming M is map. Um, 
That's Tish. So what did he say? The Northeast? Is that what he said? Quest objective. Okay, so this is where we want to go. And we're here, so kind of follow that all the way around. That's like really far up there, but okay. I'll do as I'm told. I, re I really wish there was like a, a mini map to look at, you know? All right, so go up past this and then at the fork, take a right and then fork, take a left. Okay. This is really cute. I like this. This is uh, this is kind of a cozy type thing. I'm not not sure how how you guys will like it, um, but it's always it's always good to try new games out. And since this was literally just released on on uh, the closed beta was released from the NDA, so we can stream it and post videos on it now. I figured why not just go ahead and jump in and make a. Uh, Make a quick exclusive, um, you know, first look. It's a little run down. So make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this game. And if we should make more of these videos, if we should make it maybe a series. So just let me know and we'll, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. Gone. Gone. Hmm. It's coming along. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm, it's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, oh, hi. Or hey there. Uh, Pavel, Pavel Mining, what can I do for you? Asha sent me for a pickaxe. Okay. Stole. Stole. It's the whole reason I'm checking out <laughs> the soundness of these campsites. I uh, don't need you all buried in mud. Yes. In fact, uh, this one's about ready for use if you want it. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. I see you've already got an ax. Uh, take this pick too. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris if you would. Okay, that's cool. All right, awesome. Okay. So to open this up, it's R. Why wouldn't it just be Q? That's what all other games are. All right, uh, gathering tools. Try gathering stone in the nearby rock debris. Okay. Hold R to switch to another tool. Press F to gather materials that we've already done. All right, so hold on. Where's my axe at? Oh, axe is right dead center. Okay, so we got the pickaxe, right? So we can come over here and... I guess... Yeah. Let's just get rid of all of this. Because we really don't need any rocks in our plot of land. Especially, I'm, I'm assuming we can build a house later too. So. Alright, I'm assuming I is that. What is this? an ancient thing it's unclear what this thing is meant to be uh, but it sure looks important and ancient maybe someone will know what it does okay so we'll have to figure out who we go to 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 figure those things out I kind of just want to clear all these little areas here. All right, so clear some debris from the plot. We're, we're clearing it. But it says I've only done two of three. I'm guessing this stuff here. So let's go ahead and take out our ax. Okay. All right, let's return to this guy real fast. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. 
Huh, found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot. Uh, I've got another plot to inspect, but I should, uh, but there should be space to drop this work table down. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about growing tubes. All right. Action bar. Clearly, I understand action bars. I played Minecraft and every other game in the world, right? Uh, so we can rotate with our mouse wheel or no Q and E Q and E rotates to put things where we want to put it. Okay. Um, so eight. Oh, it, it can be this. Okay. So I'm assuming can this just go anywhere? Let's just put it right here for now. I'm assuming I can pick it back up later. All right, makeshift tent. We need a bunch of wood and some rope. All right, let's just, uh, can we do that by chopping down all these trees? Yep. Five sap wood, not bad. So I'm thinking that we will, this is like our plot to build our house too, right? So if that's the case, I may want to keep my tent in the corner. It's just my thought process. That way it gives us plenty of room to, to build our house when it's time, right? these things up All right, let's see what we have now do we have enough well we can do the wood storage bin and that is ready to craft so let's go ahead and craft this uh, eight okay so let's go ahead and put this like right next to the workbench and Hmm, a little strange to me, but it is what it is. All right, so we need a little bit more wood. That's fine. There's a bunch more wood here, and we might be able to go into other people's lands, which I don't know. Is that Does that just mean that, like, right there is someone else's land, or is everyone's land have to be fenced off like this? I'm not sure. So this is an MMO. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, it says mass massive multiplayer game so uh so this is a multiplayer game i'm assuming there's more places but it's also like specific to me I, i'm i don't know I, i'm not really sure how it works yet we've seen a couple people from what it looks like uh like running around but they haven't really been doing much i'm gonna go ahead and grab this we might need some food later there we go there's some more mushrooms I just figure let's grab what we can. And since they're glowing and going wow, 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 I'm guessing it's important that we do this. Okay, so we also have a little lake right here next to our house. We might be able to go fishing. I'm assuming that can be done. All right, let's go ahead and make it. No shit, damn it. All right, so let's make our tent. Uh, one, all right, so, whoa. And it crashed. All right, now that we're back up and running, let's see if we can do this without it yelling at us again. I don't own this land yet.
Okay, that way it's right here next to my. Yep. Hello? Hey. I'm trying to say hi. Uh -huh. Oh, that isn't another player. That's part of the game. It's a good day to be exploring. Why do they got to give him braces and like the lift? You know, why, why do they have to do that? <sighs> uh, I told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, she wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Uh, I wanted to, uh, and I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. Wow. I mean, that's a 12 hour day alone. And then you have to sleep and do other things? Golly day. Uh, so I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like to get mail. Okay. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Butter. I'm assuming that's important. Let's talk tomorrow. If some if one of my neighbors just randomly came over and was like, hey, I got some butter for you. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'd be like, okay, thanks. Thanks for my butter. Uh, all right, so we have our storage and we have our tent. It doesn't really. All right. All right, check your mail and pick up any deliveries. Okay. All right, so we have two. Let's check out this one. Uh, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of misbirthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Anar. If I'm screwing up these pronunciations, tell me in the in the comments. I don't know. And I would like to share with you the joys of fishing. See, I was just talking about that. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. Uh, I shall be located at the pier next to... Okay, so we now have a fishing rod. I will mark it as red. And then Hassan. Uh, City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, of course. You can find me at Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am very busy. Understood. Okay. So we got some mail. Alright, and it looks like it's getting dark, so I'm assuming... I'll have to go to sleep at some point soon. As far as how to use a bow, you shoot it with the pointy side out, right? All right, so with that said, let's come over here. See, that should be Q, not R in my opinion. Uh, equip bow, yep. Creatures will flee, yep, yep. Understood. I didn't want that though. I wanted this. All right. Hold down that to set that when the circle reaches your target, re release that. Okay. A lot of fish to nibble on the line before setting the hook. Wait uh, for a bite and then use it. When you see a large splash, set the hook by pressing. Okay. Uh, move left and right. Okay. Okay. Hold down the reel. Okay. All right, so yeah, okay, so just the button, okay. I didn't want to do that. Try fishing. All right, we're still gonna just throw it out here. Let's just check to see if we can catch a fish. I caught nothing. 
but it said wait for a big splash right so let's let's give it a second and see that's a nibble 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 there we go okay okay it's okay it's okay that was the first cast i wasn't really trained for this yet nibble nibble there you go all right okay I'm done. We'll figure it out later. All right, so this guy's back. Let's go say hi to him. Man, I'm hungry. Uh, this plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty school, pretty school stuff, pretty cool stuff in the dirt. Uh, uh, my dad found an old copper arrowhead in the yard last week, but uh, I seem to find out. Well, I found the strange artifact. Uh, there you go. Oh, wow, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I bet. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out at the ruins. Oh, yeah, we could go check out with Gina, right? You should see um, if she's found something like this before. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I almost forgotten all the excitement. I brought you a present, uh -huh. too. The Bug Scouts official belt. Okay. I got to run now. Okay. Thanks, bud. You have a good one. Much love. Standard smoke bomb recipe for a standard Bye. smoke bomb. Okay. So I know it's dark. It's getting dark. Can I fix this? Oh, I can tear it down. There we go. It is no longer. It is no longer uh, a, a, a fresh plot. This is my plot now. You shall stay away from it. I will also get rid of all these bushes, I think. We'll leave the big trees, but these bushes just gotta go. Oh, welcome to leave your housing plot. Okay, so now I guess we just leave our housing plot now. All right, I left it. Oh, so all of that is my housing plot, like the whole area. Okay. All right. Welcome from the dev team. Welcome to Palia. Uh, so we're happy to welcome you to Palia. We started Singularity Six in order to help create new worlds uh, that deepen players' lives, and we hope Palia lives up to that for you. As a new startup studio, we're so excited that you found your way to Palia. I can't live without players, or it can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palia further, the biggest thing you could do possibly uh, is simply tell friends and family about Palia. This would mean the world to us. And if you guys would like to help and support me, please consider sending a super chat. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. It had to be said. All right, so ask Gina about the strange object. I'm assuming, if I recall, this way was, hey son, where's Palia? I think, or Gina, right? I don't, I don't know where Gina is. There's okay. So there's that person. That's the ruins pond, but where are like the ruins. Cause I don't know how to get back to where Gina was. So how do we find Gina learning the ropes? Talk to Bardu, learn how to garden and talk to Reth. Okay, so I think what we should do is kind of wrap up this first look. It's cute. Um, and we'll go from there. 
I think that's probably the best thing to do. Um, and then kind of get an idea from you guys uh, of what you guys think and if we should create this as a series or if we shouldn't, you know. But all in all, I think that uh, that this game is adorable. I think that, uh, you know, in order to play it on heavy and epic settings and stuff like that, it's a, it's a little heavy on the PC. But uh, but it is still, you know, it's in it's in closed beta. The NDA just got released. So, you know, they're still they're still doing things to it, but it's absolutely adorable. The fact that there's an MMO, I'm curious, like if couples could play this game, uh, like if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a wife or a husband uh, that would like to join you, can y'all have your own plot of land together and kind of build it and, and play it, you know, together, kind of like a Stardew, if you will. Uh, I think that would be really cute. I think that would be, you know, a, a great addition if that's possible. Uh, I can look further into that if you guys would like, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys would like me to create its own series and kind of do a playthrough of this, you know, a good 20 minute, you know, videos, 30 minute videos, maybe, uh, or if we should add it to the live streams, which by the way, if you didn't know, I do live stream, uh, typically every single day. Uh, about 9 p.m. Eastern time right here on the channel. So please make sure you hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button to check out all of our future first looks. But with that said, what do I think about this game? I give it a thumbs up so far. Until next time, stay foxy. Bye.